Hi, and welcome to Team Vigo Spotlight. I'm Bill Riley, Director of Communications, here with Dr. Hayworth for our Wednesday update. Uh, let's first take a quick look at the dashboard, which is now updated at vigoschools.org. We have nine student positives with campus contact in the last 14 days. That's up from five last week. Five staff positives with campus contact in the last 14 days. No change from five last week. 106 students actively quarantined. That's up from 84 last week. And 18 staff actively quarantined, up from 10 last week. So, Dr. Hayworth, what do you think? Well, if you think of the dashboard, uh, one thing that jumps out to me is the amount of children that are quarantined. And right now, if you look at our student population, that's less than 1%. Uh, which for me is uh, pretty amazing when you also think about and add that to how aggressive, and we're glad they're aggressive, our health department and our community has been with quarantining. So a uh, very interesting number, uh, and uh, I think that speaks to uh, what our community is doing, what our staff is doing inside our buildings, what our families are doing to help try to keep everyone safe. So fall break coming up, uh, talk a little bit about the need for fall break first, but what you'd like to see over fall break. Uh, I think it's a couple of things. One, uh, our district uh, needs fall break. Uh, this experience that we're in right now when we're taking and having face-to-face, in-person AV, uh, when we're doing hybrid learning, uh, when we're doing true online learning for all parties involved, that's hard work. That's difficult work that uh, we've been doing uh, for uh, quite a while now. Uh, and so it is time for us to have a break. Well, when we have that break, uh, we want to make sure that we come back in such a way that we're healthy, uh, that we're not uh, contributing to community spread. So what we're asking our, our community to do, our students, our staff to do, is know where they're at, who they're with, and uh, stay masked and stay safe. Great. So big announcement today on uh, middle school and high school. Talk us through a little bit about what we're doing. And I think as uh, everybody knows by now, we're working, working with a task force. And in working with the task force, looking at our numbers, looking at what's happening inside our schools, we're now ready to add middle school back next week. So that's sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade that will be coming back next week. We're gonna hold off and hopefully bring the entire high school back the following week, which I think is the 19th. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but it's important to note that next week would be just the sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade only. Yep. We had talked about ninth grade. We're not doing that right now. When we're working with our instructors, when we're working with our staff, when we're working with the high school schedule, we believe bringing the entire high school back on the ninth, on the 19th is the better strategy. Yeah, and of course all of this contingent yeah. on uh, what we see within our schools, and that's really what we're hyper-focused on here is our, we want to continue to see evidence that school's not contributing to spread. And as long as we do that, we feel like we can hold school safely in the era of COVID. Yeah, I, I think we've done that. I think from the onset and uh, our metered approach uh, has allowed us to uh, watch spread in our buildings. And at this point, I think our staff, our students, our families are doing a good job and just asking everybody to be careful over fall break. Yeah, let's stay safe. Let's well-earned rest for our teachers, our parents, our students, and uh, let's get back to the business of educating students after fall break. Yeah, so Very well said. Thank you for your time today, Dr. Yeah, thank you.